What is going on guys? Holy smokes, I finally done it. Um, I've installed the EGR kit into my truck. Now unfortunately, this isn't going to be a tutorial video like I had planned. Um, in fact, I started shooting the video like I was going to make a tutorial, but it just, there were too many curveballs. Um, what would have ended up happening is I would have made a terrible quality video and yeah, I, I just didn't want to upload, you know, garbage. What happened was, is it was freaking hot outside. This EGR kit was a nightmare, or rather, removing all the old EGR stuff was a nightmare. Um, my truck is a 2016, and a lot of the videos that I'd watched were on 2012s, 2013, 2014 trucks. And they don't differ a lot, but they differ enough to make doing this kit a pain in the ass on the 2016. So instead of making a tutorial, I'll show you guys the finished product, um, show you what I did because there are a couple of the things that I wish I would have known um, prior to starting this. And uh, you know, I'll talk to you guys about that just in case you are looking for some pointers because you are interested in doing this yourself. But yeah guys, like I said, it was a, it was a nightmare. I was sweating everywhere. I was doing the, the installation in my garage, so out of the sun but that still didn't matter. The uh, humidity out here in Missouri is unbearable and unforgiving. So yeah, let me go show you guys um, what we got going on. So here is the finished product. It's a very, very simple um, kit in terms of you know what you end up installing. Just your block off plate there, two block off plates, and your coolant reroute. Now, installing that stuff isn't the hard part. It's getting all of your OEM emissions hardware removed. That is the hard part. Um, I'm telling you guys, this was a bitch. And I'm really sorry that I didn't make a tutorial about it because I think it would have been you know, really helpful to put that out there. But like I said, I would have put out a shit video because I was pissed off as hell um, getting all this old crap out. Now the first thing you probably noticed is I left the original bracket in there that sits just be uh, below the cooler. Now, this kit that I purchased did come with a new bracket. Uh, however, getting this stock bracket out of there would have cost at least another hour, hour and a half of work, plus a trip to O'Reilly because I didn't have um, uh, the right size socket. So I left that in there and all the hoses and everything that would have connected to the new bracket still connect to that one. So that's another reason why I didn't even mess with it. On this side, it's literally just the block off plate underneath the valve. And I don't know if you can see, but I did not do a throttle valve delete. It's a, it's a common misconception. It's not wrong, but it's not necessary. Whenever you delete this, you do not need to install a throttle valve delete kit. Um, now that the emissions hardware and all the components are shut off via the tune and the rest of the EGR equipment is not in there, that throttle valve would have been obsolete. It would have been strictly for aesthetics. So we don't have to worry about the um, butterfly closing because that is no longer a, that intake of air is no longer necessary because what that intake does is balance the ratio of exhaust gases to fresh air. So now the only source of fresh air is the Ram air box. So we don't even need to mess with the throttle valve. So one thing I wish I would have known is that this crossover tube is going to be a nightmare to get off. So it sits in there about like that. And what you have to do is, you obviously need to disconnect it from this bracket here. It's an eight millimeter bolt. There's a bolt on the other side there. I'm sure you've seen it on a couple videos. Um, people try to go at that, but that thing is actually welded onto that bracket. It's not gonna go anywhere. So a little piece of advice, disconnect this cross member tube from both v bank or V-clamps on each side. And then you'll slide the tube out this way so it'll kind of sit like this once it's slid through the bracket. And then you can get to that eight millimeter bolt there. So once you unbolt that, this thing comes right out. It literally took me almost an hour to get that damn thing out just because I didn't know that that bolt over there is welded and you need to come around from this side. The other thing is obviously this bracket here is still in place. I really, really, really would have liked to have removed it. Um, maybe I will do it in the future, not anytime soon, because I do not want to mess with anything EGR anymore. 
but you need a couple of deep sockets. So if you get a deep socket set, um, that that exhaust uh, heat shield right there on the uh, what is that? The uh, on the exhaust manifold there. You need to remove that heat shield to get to the to the studs, and that heat shield is supported by I think six bolts. And I don't know if it's like that on the 2012s or 13s, but that heat shield, little things like that are what's in the way and that's in what's keeping you from removing that entire bracket. So that was one of the things that really pissed me off and that was toward the end. So I said, screw it. I don't need to remove that bracket because all of the hoses and everything um, still connect to uh, the original holes on that bracket. So I just said, you know, I'm done. And then one other thing, the reroute tube for the coolant there. It's a very, very, very snug fit on the on the uh, inlet on the valve there, or the uh, on the block there. So what you can do is you can lay that tubing that it comes with out in the sun in your driveway for about 20 minutes while you're working on everything else, so it softens up, and then it slides right on uh, right onto that inlet outlet. But yeah, other than that. Um, I'm not gonna say it went smooth. It just took a lot of tinkering and finessing with things and and you know trying new things. I wasn't missing anything. The kit that I purchased, um, I was a little hesitant to purchase it just because it was forty dollars on eBay and it's not a sinister brand or anything like that. So I didn't know what to expect and I didn't want to miss anything. But it was complete. Um, there was nothing that it was missing. Just things I didn't use like the bracket and the mounting hardware and the stud that it includes. I could use it and like I said, I may do it in the future, but overall my impressions of that kit is it's awesome. It's only $40 and I'll make sure to link that below. Um, but yeah, here's all my old crap. All my old emission stuff that I still need to deal with. Um, yeah, the cooler was, wasn't too bad. I'm getting at the back um, heads the back studs there. I'm sure you've seen on many videos where it was a little challenging, but not as hard as getting that cross crossover tube off. What's up, buddy? You hot? You want to go inside? Yeah. So yeah, like I said, I'm sorry I didn't really make a super in-depth tutorial. Um, finally got this thing in and that's all that I care about is I got that installed uh, just because it was a nightmare. So yeah, a couple more things to come on the onto the RAM. Uh, pretty soon I'm just going to do a whole overview of the truck, show you a couple things that I've done that I haven't yet caught on film. Um, just cool little, little, you know, detail, subtle things that you guys can do to, uh, you know, make your truck look nicer. Um, you know, things that will improve its, its longevity, especially if you're out here in the Midwest or up north where it snows a lot. So that's something cool that I'll show you guys coming up in a video when I do the overview. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys like my videos. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. If you have any questions about this EGR thing, um, just comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, like I said, this thing was a nightmare, but I learned some things. So if there's something that you're having trouble with, comment down below and I'll do my best to make it clear for you. Um, yeah, if you're wanting to do this by yourself, um, props to you and respect to you. And respect to all you guys who work on your trucks yourselves, right? I could have easily taken this thing to RAM, but once you do things like this yourself and you get all cut up and, and, and bloodied up and stuff, it makes it more special. So don't trust somebody who doesn't work on their own truck, and I'll see you guys later.